Right, so good morning, uh, students, from wherever you're joining us from. Um, my name is Boriki, once again, and I am here to continue with the topic that we were covering the day before yesterday, that is radioactivity. We are live both on Facebook and Zoom, and therefore, if um, you're able to access any of, those, um, any, any of those applications, then you can always join us. Um, the link to our Zoom meeting has been sent to the WhatsApp group, so you can uh, open the group and you'll uh, find the link there the meeting ID and everything else, and it'll be admitted. All right. Now, the last time we met, we were discussing um, the equations that uh, take place when, an, um, when a radioactive isotope, that is a, radio, um, a radioisotope, um, when a radioisotope undergoes radioactive decay. And we said... And we said that um, when a substance or an atom of, an, uh, of, a, of a substance undergoes radioactive decay, then it disintegrates, the nuclide disintegrates or splits, forming two or more new nuclides that are more stable. And we said that uh, just like in the case of any other um, equation, a radio, um, um, what do we call it, a nuclear a nuclear reaction would need to be balanced and I remember we gave an example I could give another example just uh, to help us remember what we discussed now consider a radioisotope whose um, symbol is this as I mentioned the other day uh, some of these um, isotopes are not among the 20 that you normally learn within the course of the four, um, the four years that you're in high school. And therefore, that should not worry you a lot. Nobody will tell you to mention the name of these um, elements that I'm giving here. Radium, thorium, those ones. Nobody will tell you to mention the names of the, or give the properties or the characteristics or the way they interact with other things. So do not worry about that. Now, consider this radioactive um, isotope or radioisotope that undergoes um, that undergoes um, radioactive decay to form this other element here. Now the question is, <coughs> excuse me, the question is, what type of um, um, radioactivity or radi radiation? What, what, are, yeah, what type of um, um, a particle is emitted here? I'm going to call it X. And therefore, what are the characteristics? Somebody could ask you, what are the characteristics of the radiation emitted? What are the numbers A and B? And ETC and EDC. And as we said, the numbers on the, react, uh, the reactant side must balance on the numbers on the product side for both the uh, mass numbers and the atomic numbers down here. So on this uh, first side here, I'm going to consider the atomic numbers. On this reactant side, the number is 88. So, if I added 86 to B, I should get the same same number for my figures to balance. And therefore, this one becomes 2. On the upper side, that is mass numbers, the number is 224. And if I was to, I don't know whether we have any students uh, requesting to join us. Um, let me just check that. Excuse me. A minute. Um, all right. We are okay. We are okay. Okay. So um, on the upper side, the mass numbers we have two twenty four, and on the other side we have two twenty six. So that means that the number here should be should be what? Um, this looks like. Uh, negative 2. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Let's see. Mm -hmm. 226, 24, and that one. All right. Mm -hmm. So what kind of a particle is this? Let's see, because that is supposed to be alpha. I think there's a problem with my figures. There is a problem with my figures. I took them wrong. This one is supposed, uh, is supposed to be alpha. So I think I copied my question wrongly. <coughs> the 
that is uh, 20. I picked it uh, wrongly. Sorry for that. So that this one becomes 4. 4. And the particle whose mass number is 4 and the atomic number is 2 was obviously um, alpha, that was helium, and therefore this is what I'm going to put there. And we say that it carries a positive 2 charge. So that means that the kind of radiation that our particle here, or our nuclide here, undergoes is alpha decay. And the particles released carry a positive charge. This is a stream of positively charged ions of helium. So somebody could ask you, what, um, what is the penetrative power of the kind of radiation that is going to be emitted here. Remember from the characteristics that um, we outlined the day before yesterday, this one is going to be very penetrative. They will be deflected by a magnetic field towards the negative side because they are positive. We also say that um, they will... Um, uh, what, what else did we learn about um, <coughs> alpha? We learned about the charge. We learned about the speed. They will have very high ionizing uh, power because they travel slowly through space and therefore they are in contact with air for more time as compared to gamma and as compared to beta. So those are some of the things that somebody could ask you concerning uh, or rather around um, nuclear reactions or nuclear equations. We could give so many others, but um, in the interest of time, I think uh, more assignments will be dropped um, in our groups, the different groups, so that then you can attend them, and then we'll go through them. We'll go through them in the same same uh, platforms we have here. All right. So in this lesson, I would like us to look at something else, and that something else is what we call the radioactive decay series. And a radioactive decay series occurs when um, a substance that is radioactive decays into another substance. For example, I could have a particle X. It undergoes radioactive decay and it has its um, mass numbers and atomic numbers, A and B. It decays to form a new particle. I'm going to call that one Y with its um, Z and uh, rather with its P and Q. Now, and of course emitting some particles, uh, that, that could be plus um, maybe some um, electrons. It is C, it is C. So if X decays to form Y, and Y happens also to be unstable, Y will also decay, forming something else. That could be Q with its M and N. If Q is also unstable, it will decay, forming something else. And of course, uh, maybe this one is alpha decay, so plus um, yeah, helium. It is C, and, and maybe plus some um, gamma. If Q is also unstable, it will decay, forming something else. And um, that something else could be B, with, um, with uh, probably um, V. W plus probably um, gamma like that and, and uh, if B is also unstable the, 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 the disintegration will continue until we form a more stable isotope for example this dis disintegration will continue until maybe we form something like uh, probably um, an element like cassium uh, cassium is supposed to be 40 and it's supposed to be 20 until we form something like this one, which is more stable, and that is when the disintegration stops. So this is a radioactive decay series. Now, given a series like this one, you should be in a position to fill these numbers by following the same same approach that we used with the equation where we had only one step. So if we have stages, you follow the same same approach that we used. Let's try an example and see whether we understand what this is all about.
So Sandra, Stephen, I can uh, see that you are online. Uh, turn on your video so that we are able to interact more. I can see you on Zoom. On Zoom. Uh, turn on your, your, your camera, turn on your video so that I can also see you. So consider a uh, part of a radioactive decay series as I'm going to write it down below and then we're going to fill in um, the unknowns. This is an unstable nuclide that undergoes radioactive decay to form this new uh, particle here. And the type of radiation taking place is X. So X is an unknown that we're going to look for. But this new nuclide formed here is not stable. So it undergoes another step of radioactive decay forming another particle that is AC. Sandra, oh yeah, yeah, I can see you Sandra, that's good, that's good. I can't see you but I can uh, at least hear you so I know that you're online. I'll need you to answer a question maybe. All right. Yeah. Sandra, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? All right, all right, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, so this is going to be called um, um, A. Then this one disintegrates, forming another one that we're going to call um, B. And the kind of radiation taking place here is beta. Then this one disintegrates, forming another one, um, this one. We can even stop there. Let's stop there for now and we attempt to solve bosons. So those students who are online, try to solve and get X. Try to get A and try to get B here. I believe you have somewhere to write. Try to get those um, values in one minute only, and then we'll be back. Just continue answering, it's okay. Oh, okay. If you want the videos to be short, all right. So, I'm going to give you a minute, we're going to pause the video, and then we'll be back. We'll be back after a minute or two so that we can then get the solution. All right. <laughs> 